So in this episode, we're going to be really focusing on Demit Onfroy um, as one of the newer Askels. Uh, so welcome, Demit. If, uh, if you've got anything to say to your fans, please feel free. Because Jana, we know you've got a lot of new fans. Uh, well, thank you guys all for supporting me. Uh, I get I get the best gifts, and honestly, my the team Demetrius, Team Onfroy, and uh, next one iPhone five. Everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> they when even when I was sick, it was like. It was like having family, like, oh my gosh, at, even at the hospital. Um, so thank you guys for that. And everybody else, too. Thank you, guys. And I think you have one of the most impressive resumes football-wise. Uh, you represented the USA at under-18s, Panama under-21s. Why did you then choose on a senior level to, to come to the Philippines? Um, I think that, uh, you know, playing, in, playing on the U.S. national team is, it, you have to be doing really 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 well they have such a huge pool of great players and um i didn't want to wait my whole life just to get like a debut you know um i went and explored panama and panama you know was is a really good football country but um i i don't think that their management is quite where the Astros are and mm -hmm. after i had my first uh, camp with them in chicago it was clear that you know i, I wanted to have a future with this team and um mm -hmm. i spoke with the coach i spoke with uh Dan Palami and I spoke with all the guys and you know I, I felt like I was at home I was raised Filipino Filipino grandparents my mom you know so I I've, coming here was was a no-brainer for me and so with your teammates uh, Matthew and Patrick and uh, rival <laughs> ref <No, no. laughs> um, what what's uh, what's with them it that we don't know Tell us something that we uh, we don't know about him, and maybe some of the secrets, or if you've got some questions you want to throw out. Well, I live with him, so <laughs> I won't give away too much stuff. <laughs> but um, I know he's really happy about this. He just got a new skateboard, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you want to tell him about your little skateboard you got? Yeah, he's really no. excited about this one. No, I, I was like browsing and browsing and browsing, and I was like, God, just don't have the right skateboards here for me. And then I saw in the window, I saw this perfect skateboard. It was called a. Uh, what the heck is it called? Holy Roller or something like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's my skateboard. I got it. And I showed up to Dennis, Dennis's house, and he was like, you got it, skateboard, finally. I think I was riding in the street today with my glasses on, like not really caring about the cars around me. And cars were honking at me, and they were just like, where do you think? You think you're in California, huh? And I'm just like, oh, man. But yeah, I got to do skateboard. So I got to watch out. Be careful on that. Yeah. Actually, you guys got to watch out, because you guys are the ones that are like, let me ride that thing, man. <laughs> No, I think the special thing about him is he's really multi-talented, I have to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get money for this, like, but he can, like, he's not really good, he's really good at football, I mean. <laughs> then he also can sing good, oh, okay. and then also good dancer, yeah, like, I just saw that <laughs> dance in the Justin Bieber video and I was really impressed, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, like, he's really, <laughs> really multi-talented. <laughs> Singing, yeah? Singing, there's also a song of you, I heard. So tell us about <laughs> uh, the Justin Bieber video first. How did that come about? Um, what, what's your role in that? Before we ask you to sing one of Justin Bieber's songs. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I wish that the story was more interesting, but it's not really that interesting. Um, I feel very boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got casted through my agency, and uh, they were just like, yeah, you fit the build. And um, I was supposed to actually be a, an extra just stand in the background and not really have a part and then uh when i got there they were like oh you have some tattoos and uh, you kind of have a good look man we're gonna actually give you a girlfriend and so i took one <laughs> of the principal guys roles and then that's why i kind of got like one or two cameos but i was kind of like so i have to get paid like an extra while the principal guy gets paid a lot but i'm actually doing his job and they're like well yeah but i was like whatever that's cool so that's how that happened um and I don't know if you asked about the song, but I was going to kind of segue into that. Please, go ahead. Um, pretty much what happened was uh, there was a girl at my school, and she really liked this, like, video that my team did on a, on a bus. It was to a Chris Brown song. Um, and her her brother worked on the High School Musical album, and so he was like, hey, uh, you know, well, let's do a song together. My sister, like, really likes you, whatever. And so I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> so we go down to L.A., and we, we did this song, and it was... A really really professional studio it was really cool um mm -hmm. and then what i ended up doing was putting it on itunes and then donating the proceeds to that song to an ms foundation okay uh, the nancy davis foundation and uh 
you know, they're they're amazing. So of course I wanted to give whatever money I made from that to them. And so yeah, it was more of like an MS awareness campaign. Uh, but the song actually wasn't really written for MS. It was just kind of written for having fun, whatever. But that's the background behind those two stories. So yeah. <laughs> So I guess that's it. So <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Although you did mention your tattoos uh, first. Yes. Uh, how many do you have? Because a lot of them are, are very prominent. Um, you know, I don't really know what constitutes a tattoo anymore since I have the whole arm. I guess this <laughs> could be one. This could, but I have this left arm done. Uh, my chest, hand, fingers. Sometimes I regret these, but <laughs> I got them done. Uh, wrist, neck, and back. That's it. And why? Like what did you get in the uh, first <laughs> Well, I have Pray and Love, but oh, okay. not after the movie Eat, Pray, Love, because I've gotten that before. Um, Jane, my mom's name. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even see the movie, but <laughs> Jane is uh, my mom's name. Um, this one is kind of detailed. This all goes together. Um, this says Choice of Destiny, and this one says Inevitable Failure. and. Um, this whole, the background behind this kind of was, um, everybody's going to fail inevitably in life, mm. you know, but it's it's choosing to either dwell on that failure or learn from it, and so that's mm. why I kind of say you have your own choice and destiny, and you have the sunrise, which is the start of a new day, and uh, the angel that's looking to the stars, which kind of represents your future, so that's kind of how that all ties in, and uh, and yeah, and then I have the Virgin Mary on my neck, and that kind of sim is symbolic of uh, mine and my mom's relationship, I'm a really big mama's boy. So I kind of was like, Jesus and Mary, that's... No, nah, but uh, I'm also fairly religious, so uh, I would say all of my tattoos are have a really big religious meaning behind them. Or feeling, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Virgin Mary, so yeah. Cool. And uh, you mentioned also uh, MS. Um, obviously, it's really impressive yeah. how, how far you've come along with uh, your... With, with the football in terms of the US, Panama, Philippines, representing three different countries, uh, with one of the top clubs in Portugal, just for those newer fans who, who haven't heard of Sporting. <laughs> um, they're one of the best clubs in, in Portugal. Um, how has MS been such a, a part of your life, and what is it you, you want to do w within that? Because you've done a lot, it, it seems, for MS awareness. Yeah, oh, well, sporting also, by the way, people don't really, they're like, sporting in Portugal? But then if you say Cristiano Ronaldo, okay. they, oh, yeah, the, okay, I know. The, that kind of puts it into context. But um, but uh, in regards to multiple sclerosis, um, you know, I was initially, I kind of wanted to stay in the dark about this. I didn't want to come out and say too much because I thought that it would affect my chances of playing professionally because... Yeah. The initial thing that coaches think are zero loaded gun. You know, you can go off at any time. Mm -hmm. um, and so why would we want to spend money and time on you and then tomorrow your legs don't work, you know? And so I didn't say anything about it, but then I tried, I chose to speak out about it because I figured I can't hide that. You know, I'm going to have it for the rest of my life as of now because there's no cure. And so why why should I hide, you know, who I am, I guess? Um, so my whole thing was we, I wanted to speak out about it and help others understand that no matter what you have, no matter if it's a disease or you're just having a bad day or whatever, you know, you can always look at it in a positive way and just use it to make you stronger. And so that's what my whole coming out about having my disease was. And uh, more just showing others that, you know, don't let anything stop you. You know, MS doesn't define me. That's not what I always say. It's, uh, it's something that I have, but it will never define my future. You know, I define my own future. So that, that kind of plays into my whole choice and destiny and and so, yeah, so I'm, I'm always open to talking <coughs> about it and no problem with it. That's really impressive. You, look, you don't look like that one. Yeah. How you well, move, how you say Yeah. What disease? Disease? Uh, MS, you mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't look like you have one. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're, you're like, uh, you're a jolly person, you're, you're in good company, I mean, everything's <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know. inside and out, man. Even, <laughs> even training, even, you know. Yeah, no, I, I thank you for that. Exactly. And I, uh, I kind of, I kind of like that people are like, oh, I wouldn't even know that you have a disease or anything because, um, knock on wood, I don't have any symptoms right now. Um, but even if I did, you know, it's not something that I use as a crutch. I don't ever lean on that and say, oh man, you guys should feel so bad for me. <laughs> you know, I have this disease. Uh, 
because that's not who I am. You know, I, I would rather go along and just people are like, people are more like, oh my gosh, shock! Oh, I didn't even realize that. Um, just because you know, we hang out and we have fun, just like all of us. You know, we don't have to push you aside because I have a disease or something like that. You know? It's uh, to be honest, really impressive, not just on the football side of things, but on a personal uh, level. Uh, this is our first time properly meeting, I guess, and that's all. That's all really impressive. Um, and as his housemate Matthew, yeah. uh, maybe you could tell us more about the uh, would it be the less impressive side of what goes on behind the scenes, what goes on um, at, at your place. How do you know Demit now personally? Um, well, we've only been living in the apartment for about a week. We've been traveling okay. so much, we hardly have time. But um, I guess. I play the Justin Bieber album a lot. Yeah, we, <laughs> love, we love listening to that song. We love listening yeah. to the album. Uh, um, you would think that that's kind of weird, weird but we <laughs> we blast on the speakers like, yeah. hey, put this on. Yeah. I'm like, you got it, man. I'm turning on, <laughs> dancing. Oh, but I think Coach Hans Smith might be uh, interested in uh, passing by sometime <laughs> there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I mean, I think we get along good. Yeah. We don't really butt heads or anything. Uh, chill, laid back, mm -hmm. both. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're I mean we're, we're pretty laid back, so we're yeah. never like if mm -hmm. we ever have an issue, we'll just say anything. But so far, we've been all right. Yeah, it's been good. I don't know. I can't complain right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to you in a few. He just, he just <laughs> yeah. Well, he just got his bed, so I mean that was the one thing that he was he was sleeping on the couch because he didn't have a bed yet. So he yeah, finally got it. business. Yeah, and now he's got his <laughs> Yeah, it's bad now. We'll discuss a bit more about your business later <laughs> on in your episode next. <laughs> uh, but finally, Patrick, um, how's how's it been knowing Demit? Uh, and maybe you know more about his more embarrassing side. Embarrassing is a bit like too much right now, but <laughs> 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 no, I think there's not too much. It was uh, quite a funny story, but he really likes when I do injections. He loves hey, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, he was like, he was like, you have to put injections every day, and, right. and then I really hate injections, so he just go he gets so straight in front of my face and like, hey, look, Patrick, look at this, <laughs> look at this, I just put them. <laughs> and he's like, he's going with the injection after me. I think maybe when we're in Chicago, I think or <laughs> Chicago and Kuwait, I think I did it every single day to him. I would, yeah. He would just be like on the computer, and then I would come in at like kind of around the same time every single day, and just like, hey, look, and he's like, oh, come on, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you try waking him up sometime like that with the needle ready. For that. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, thanks very much. And uh, to follow more about uh, Demid Omfroy, and I think uh, could you what's your Twitter account? And your your you've got a followers group as well, right? Is uh, it team my Twitter Omfroy? account is at Demid Omfroy, and uh, the fan. Twitter accounts are uh, Team Demetrius, Team Umfroy, and Everything to Me. So uh, if I'm not tweeting about myself, they're going to be giving you guys all the <laughs> updates. They're awesome. So uh, follow them and check out these guys coming up. And so for more on Demid, for more on Global and the UFL more generally, you can follow us at, at FW Sports.